What is going on guys and welcome to my second bronze man of the match play review that I, well, I promised it earlier on. This time I'm doing a Cambridge keeper. Chris Dunn obviously got his man of the match card after the performance at Man U. However, did he really make that save? Many saves against Man U. Mm, they didn't really play well. Anyway, let's have a look at his uh, base stats and he's obviously 64 rated. He's got 68 diving, 54 handling, 44 kicking, 70 reflexes, 28 speed. 62 positioning and he is 6 foot 4. Now you can see there, mm, well, his in game stats are the same as his base stats, so there's not a lot going on there. So, as I was saying, guys, yeah, Cambridge, he's got a man of the match card after performing against Man U. Did he do an awful lot? Like I said, yeah, he pulled off a few saves, but mm, man of the match card, I'm not too sure, to be honest. Going on to his card then, again, like earlier on with John Stead, it was pretty shit. Although, I will say, in his defence, he played against a lot of gold players. He came up against goal strikers, you can see that. I was man of the match Higuain, he came up against Aguero, he came up against all sorts of players in what five or six games I played with him. So, what, well, what did he have? He was a decent shot stopper, to be fair. Although I will come up with a negative against that after. He, he, you know, he, against the bronze teams, he came up with decent shot stopping abilities. You know, he could had decent reflexes, and it is 70 reflexes, which isn't bad for a bronze keeper. And other than that, his height, he's six foot four. Yeah, you want goalkeepers to be tall. So yeah, six foot four wasn't bad. Other than that, he was an absolutely terrible goalkeeper, to be honest. And the worst thing I found with him, and you will see in a lot of these clips, is when he does save shots with you know his decent reflexes, he always parries them into awful positions. Now what I mean by that is parries them right in front of where the opposition's attacking. Look at that save there. Where did he parry it? Parried it straight back in front of the opposition. Where has he parried that? Again, straight back in front of the opposition. It's just lucky I've got a player there and they haven't anticipated the rebound. You know, it's not just that it's handling atrocious. Obviously, he's got shit handling stats. It's only 54, but he couldn't catch a cold. He parries everything. He's a lot like Diego Alves. He just couldn't or wouldn't catch. His positioning was also very poor. And you can look at that save there. It's just absolutely fucking dire, to be honest with you. But his positioning was poor. I found him out of position a lot of times. He, he just wandered off, really. Like, And he was a very slow goalkeeper. You know, as you could tell with his 28 speed, he was very slow getting out. He was very lethargic. So, as I said, we'll go on to his pros and cons finally. It's basically what I've already gone over. He's a decent shot stopper, to be fair to him. Like, you know, against bronze teams, he wouldn't be so bad at a fox. He won't come up against such high quality shots as he did against, say, uh, such as Aguero, a man of the match Higuain. Saying that, when I did come up against bronze teams, he did the exact same. You know, he flapped at crosses, he parried it straight out in front of, you know, where you don't want it, you won't keep it to parry it around the post, not like four yards in front of him while on the floor. But yeah, pros and cons, decent shot stopping, he's a good height. Uh, cons, obviously, his handling's atrocious, his positioning's terrible as well, you know. He's very slow, he flaps at crosses, the ball come in the box, I think there's a clip in there, and he comes out to punch it, and he pretty much bitch slaps it away, and that's absolutely terrible. He never catches it, which is also, well, basically coming out on crosses, he never catches it, but the biggest one, guys, that really, really affects you, is he parries it into very dangerous areas, and against a better striker, he will concede more goals. Now, I'll give him the overall rating of 5.0, and that's been pretty generous. Obviously, as well, his price is fucking absolutely ridiculous. It's about 150k on Xbox at the moment. But other than that, yeah, it's terrible. So that's it, guys. Another review done today. And the first time I've ever done two um, reviews in a day. So please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my John Stead uh, Man of the Match play review. I'll leave a link down below. Other than that, guys, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a very, very nice day.